in the Mythbusters all-viral special, Tori's about to get down and dirty. The next myth we're going to test comes from the YouTube Viewer Challenge, and it's the number one myth that people want to see tested. And it's making a speaker out of nothing but paper plates, some tin foil, and a shiny penny, and a mini jack. It's the video you most wanted us to test. Household Hackers High Def Speakers. Go ahead and wrap your aluminum foil over the convex side of your paper plate. The idea is the foil reverberates, creating sound, just like a normal speaker cone. You're going to place the penny somewhere towards the center of your plate. But will it reverberate enough to send sound waves rippling through the air? Now, Household Hacker says take a regular paper plate and cover it with some aluminum foil. He says that this traps the air and gives you that reverberation effect that you're looking for. Okay, now you take a shiny penny, not a corroded one. You want a shiny one because it'll be less resistant. You stick the shiny penny in the center of the plate, like that. Then you take your mini jack. He says you tape them to the penny onto the foil. And there you have your high def speaker. Well, apparently. Uh, but I'm not just going to stop at one. I'm going to make a 13.2 surround sound system. If these work, this is going to be insane. Oh, yeah. A 13 paper plate speaker surround sound system. Clearly, Tori's a big ideas man. You know, if these work, I might be able to retire early. But even before he busts a move, Tori's already busted the cost of this myth. Now, the claim is that these speakers cost less than a dollar to make. Uh, now, I call internet bull crap because these mini jacks cost $10 each. So right there, you've already blown your budget. So if he's lying about that, my feeling on whether they're working, he's probably not telling the truth on that part either. So is there much truth to this tinfoil tale? Well, Tori's picked a funky little number to put it to the test. The CD player is connected to the speakers via the mini jack routers. All Tori needs now is a guinea pig. Or should that be rock pig? What's supposed to happen here? You're about to get your mind filled with amazing quality sound from tinfoil covered plates. Now, play that funky music, white guy. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Yeah! I don't understand. I don't hear anything. What's supposed to be happening? It's supposed to be amazing music coming out of my speakers. Son of a... That's $150 down the tube. But Carrie's had a rockin' idea. Maybe there's not enough power to drive all 13 speakers at once. Maybe all these speakers in parallel are lowering the impedance. Maybe that's your problem. Oh, I didn't think of that. Maybe I'll just try hooking up one. Tori connects the CD player to one speaker, just like Household Hacker did, and maybe like he should have in the first place. All right, so this is one aluminum foil speaker test. Here we go. You ready? It's the golden sound of silence again. Do you hear that? That's the sound of money being thrown away. <laughs> All right, this isn't working. No. Sounds like a paper plate speaker for less than a dollar really is just too good to be true. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, sure you are. Stupid. This myth is busted, along with Tori's speakers.